This is Gadgets Top 321, and in today's video, I'm taking a look at the features I like most about the Microsoft Surface Pro with Core M processor. First of all, the battery's been great. I was concerned about the standby time, but I've been pleased with it as well. In fact, I would feel confident enough to take the Surface to school or to work and leave the charger at home. If you do need to take the charger with you, it's small enough that you can easily put it in the pocket of a backpack or even a purse. And I'm so glad that the charger is magnetic. That allows it to connect and disconnect easily and safely. Another thing I need to mention about the charger though is that this power brick does not include the USB charger port that I've seen on the Core i5 and Core i7 models. The good thing about a small charger is that it's portable. However, a, with a small charger, it may take a little longer to charge, fully charge the battery. I'm at 88% now and it, um, Windows is estimating it's gonna take 27 more minutes to fully charge the surface. From 10%, it was estimating that it was going to take three and a half hours, and that's pretty accurate. One of my favorite features of the Surface Pro is the Surface Pen, and I like that it attaches really securely to the side of the Surface. It attaches magnetically, and you can see it's not going to come off very easily. Now, you may be careful putting your Surface in a backpack with the pen attached like this. If you have heavy books uh, in your backpack, it could knock it loose. But if you have a dedicated sleeve or just for using the surface around the house, this is a good way to keep track of the location of your pen. I thought about getting the older surface pen since the new one is so much more expensive, but Best Buy no longer carried them. I thought about getting the Wacom ink also because it was less expensive, but in the end I thought that the actual Surface Pen would give me better compatibility. However, recently I've been having an issue that the shortcut button no longer launches OneNote. I've tried different tr troubleshooting, I've turned the Bluetooth on and off, and it shows that the pin is connected. I've disconnected and reconnected the pin. It shows that if you press the shortcut key, it's supposed to launch OneNote. I've tried to set it to launch OneNote 2016, and that doesn't work either. So I'm not sure what the issue is. I've re researched uh, different solutions and still haven't found a solution that worked, so I'm not sure about that. I can still launch OneNote from the start menu and everything works okay. The pen writes just fine. The eraser works. Fortunately, OneNote's not my the primary program that I use the pen with. I use Smart Notebook. Actually, I've already got one launched here. And the pen works fine in it. The eraser works. So I'm not sure what the issue is. I've also made a pleasant discovery, or an exciting discovery, recently. I can use the Xbox app to record the screen and my voice as I'm using a um, uh, smart notebook. And that allows me to uh, record the screen as I'm doing problems for my students and then I can save the video to my um, Google Drive. Then I can upload the video to Google Classroom. I wish I could demonstrate that, but I had a Windows update earlier today, and I'm having trouble getting that to work, so maybe that's something I can demonstrate at a later time. Now, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, 
uh, leave them in the comments below.